I want to bring this thing to people's attention again. So now, I'm bringing Devil Benny to the table again. I've called him out the other day. Many people come to tell me, say, uh, wait now. Uh, he's waiting for, for them to bury Junior Pope. Then after that, he will come out to say what Junior Pope told him that uh, he wanted to tell the world. I was like, oh, okay, there's no problem. Let's wait now until after the funeral. Now, it is, let me say, more than a week after the funeral. Yes, because Friday made it one week. So it is over one week since they bury Junior Pope. And uh, Dave Obeni is yet to tell us what Junior Pope wanted to tell the bloggers. If you have forgotten what, uh, what Dave Obeni wrote, let me read it again. On the day before the incident, we were drinking together after watching Arsenal Bayern Munich match. He said, Dave, I think it's time I told the bloggers my story. I said, bro, it hasn't gotten to that. We can settle this without the world knowing. He looked me in the eyes and said, what do you mean? Since December, I am dying gradually and you are telling me not to tell the world. If I die, you will be the one to tell the world my story then. Then, he died the next day. This is how Dave Obeni concluded, uh, concluded his write-up. That after telling, after Junior Pope told him this, Junior Pope died the next day. This is the way Dave Obeni talk. We be say, you be like, say everybody don't forget, forget him. To question Dave Obeni, waiting Junior Pope told him. I say make I visit Dave Obeni page. Go check whether Dave Obeni don't give the story. Maybe via writing or let me just go and verify. If Dave Obeni have uh, given out the story, maybe nobody don't notice him. When I get to Dave Obeni page, it can't be say, Dave Obeni don't delete this particular post now. When I find out that Dave Obeni have deleted this, I felt very bad. Yes. Why did he delete it? Is it that he wanted to chase cloud with what he wrote? Or maybe he don't know that people will grab it and be questioning him what Junior Pope told him. Or that he think it's not important to let the world know about it. Or maybe he has been threatened not to say anything. Or I don't know. So Dave Obeni will be uh, the best person to tell us why he deleted it. Okay, now, I say maybe he don't give out the story where, uh, where they talk about. Maybe he don't give out the story in one of his posts. I say make I shake his posts. Waiting at the sea, now his last moments with Junior Pope. For example... The post he made, made three days after the violation of JP. See what thing he wrote. He shared a video, this video now that is playing. And he wrote, Never a dull moment with you, my blood. Always making me laugh. You showed me a video of you on the boat with others without a life jacket and jokingly said, Bro, see this river very wide. If this boat capsized now, person don't go be that too. I was like, so, you no know before. Then I said, bro, don't repeat this rubbish next time. I asked you to demand for a life jacket before you get to that boat. I reminded you of your family. I called you again that night to remember the jacket and you told me you wanted to get one at Grand Hotel but it is fake. Get one at least, I said. You were like, okay, bro, promising me you will get one. Blood, you promised to call me in the evening when you get back from location so we could go to our normal spot to have some drinks 
and watch Liverpool play. You always call me every morning, but we didn't get to speak till I got that unwanted call from John Badaiki. 12 missed calls in a row. I called back only for Shaggy to tell me rumors had it you drowned. I drove to the river bank immediately and when I saw your car, I knew for real something was wrong. I was barely there when a speedboat landed and people were screaming they have seen Junior Poe's body. JP's body? I screamed and fell to the ground, all my body vibrating. The day went dark immediately and the world has never been the same since on the 10th I only see you in my dreams. In my dreams and not in my life anymore. I'm used to getting your calls every evening, but I haven't gotten even a call since on the 10th till today. I bleed in my heart. I am broken. This is so touching, right? Okay, let me read another thing. Dave Obeni wrote concerning uh, uh, his mother's birthday. This is coming on the 19th of April, a week plus after the violation of JP. On mommy's birthday celebration, Junior Pope jokingly told me he couldn't make it to the venue at the dying minute. I didn't take it lightly. I was mad at him. How could my brother from another mother not make it to my mom's birthday? Before he could finish explaining why himself and Ruby couldn't make it to the birthday, I interrupted him, screaming at him not to bother explaining, and I ended the call immediately on him. I was furious. How could I spend so much time preparing for his presence and all he could do is cancel the trip? Who does that? Little did I know he was talking from the inside of a car with tinted windscreen already packed right there in front of me at the venue. Before I knew it, he energetically jumped out of the car and this happened. It was later I realized his car wasn't available and he had to rent a cab at 100k from Asaba to Yeli, my hometown, just to make sure he doesn't miss mommy's birthday. Not just that, Himself and Ruby gifted mommy thousands of naira just to make her happy. Against all odds, he made it to celebrate mommy. Love you forever, my brother. Add you, my brother, from another mother till we meet again. Okay. Dave Obeni share many things concerning him and the uh, junior poop. Not only this one, so but... These ones are the touching ones there. That is why I say, let me read it for you guys. Okay, now my question. Dave Obeni, what is keeping you to tell the world that thing that Junior Pope told you? What is keeping you? Or are you waiting to, uh, for Junior Pope to visit you in your dreams? Kneel down and beg you for you to let the world know. Or is it that the thing is no more important? I just want to know. But if the thing is no more important, why will you say such a thing that Junior Pope wanted to do this, do that? Why? And you say that in your own time, you will let the world know about it. Is it not yet the time? I bet make gonna help me ask Devil Benio. Is it not yet the time? Because I believe with that, we can get what leads to the violation of JP. Because I strongly believe that if true, true, JP told you something like this, that may lead to his, uh, that may lead to his violation. Yes, it may lead to his violation. So why are you not speaking up? Why? Why? You claimed you love JP so much. You claimed JP is uh, your brother from another mother. Now, it is time for you to help to get justice for JP. 
you are doing nothing. You are doing absolutely nothing. Even you moved on a few days after the JP's funeral. You moved on. How do we believe now that JP's violation is 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 is, is paining you? How? And in one of your posts, you also wrote people can believe any fake news they want to believe. It does not concern you. Whatever else anybody wants to believe, let the person believe. Once there is social media, people must give fake and uh, uh, and new, give news that are fake and the ones that are not fake. So anything where anybody wants to believe, let the person believe it. Well, I'll still call you out again. I'm so much pained that many bloggers have backed down in fighting for justice for JP. I don't know, maybe because of the threats, because threats are too much. Any video you create concerning JP, how to get justice for JP, people will be telling you under the comments, people will be threatening you under the comment section. But let's keep going, Sha. We will see how it will end. Thank you, guys.